for joining us. We're just getting ourselves sorted out here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is uh, pitch black, as you can see. Yeah. And uh, way too cold. Good morning, Mozo and Bouncy, says... Uh, oh, I've got to remember the pronunciation. Um, Tylos944. Is that right? Tylos, I think. Yeah. Hello. Oh. Welcome. Good morning. Or, oh, well, it's good evening for me. Yeah. Yeah. Late evening for us, early morning for you. Um, it's far too cold for me to do anything at the moment, so I'm just hogging the fire. And then I'm going to have to go find some food, because I'm not in the best of conditions. Um, what am I going to do next? Can I move away from the fire yet? I guess you have a base to build, still. I have. Well, I've got the start of the base, um, but you decided you were stopping down there and taking your chances. Um, are you going to be a supply depot for me? Is that is that the plan? Maybe. I put, I put my order in. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> uh, Twenty-two cotton seeds, Ooh, please. Cotton seed. <laughs> okay, just 21 then. <laughs> 21 to go. <laughs> um, right, so if we're going to do this problem, someone just died. Not hmm. far away from you. Uh, well, not me. No, not far away. It's over towards the valley from you, I think. Well, there is um, a base over there. Oh, and another one just died. That's two bags I've seen spawn. Oh, cool. Yeah. I could go um, and take a look. Yeah, if we're going to do this properly... Ooh, then, cotton this seed! <laughs> <laughs> In order to make sure we keep it sort of separate, you should boot me from your BCU, and I should boot you from mine. Well, I can so. kick you. No problem. I mean, we can still s swap resources and things, can't we? <laughs> you wish. Well, if not, I'll just have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. <laughs> um, oh, I never invited you to this. I can't anyway. remove you. I can only remove myself. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, I never invited you to this one, apparently. Uh, you did, but I didn't accept. Oh, is that what it was? Okay. Yeah. Oh, well. That's the only invite you're going to get. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, right, let me top the fire up and we'll have to get this day started, I think. Um, I don't really want to use wood. Use one of those. So, I'm not currently getting any free power mass because I'm on the BCU down there. So. Come down there, see if I can kick yeah. myself. If not, what we'll have to do is just delete the BCU and build you build yourself one. Oh look at that, I can stand up without freezing. Amazing. Oh, spoke too soon. <laughs> uh hello Oh, how do you pronounce that? Is it Hezekiah? Is that the right pronunciation? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Oh, pick it up. So, who died down here? I, I definitely saw two bag spawns. Well, I so don't see any people around the fire. As I looked towards your base, um, it was to the right of your base. So, I'm guessing over towards the valley area. Oh! 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 Someone's still home! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Every time I laugh, my mouse goes up and down, and the poor viewers are going to be getting dizzy. Well, he's not very good at shooting. That's a good thing, isn't it? Well, he, he took the rifle out now, so... 
That's a bit yeah, cheaty. Time, time to run away. Oh, he's coming. Is it Hunter or? Oh, it must be Hunter who's arrived. I think he's a bit sad that he chose to come out of the house. You're making him feel sad, eh? Yeah. You're Any making him regret his life's decisions. Anybody left? Oh! Another one's coming! Well, guess who's gonna get a revenge attack? Well, you're still on the BCU. Uh, th that might change in a minute. Did he regret? Where did he go? Hello? Yoo-hoo! Well, I'm going to take a crate then. So, well, they're not completely done with the build yet down no. here. No. We'll be there in a second. I'm just kind of trying to find some breakfast. Oh, I hear a gun. Oh, oh, no, no. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's hi lads. We're we're we've got Storm Betty coming over tonight. Uh, second name Storm this year. Uh, extremely unusual in this area. Not the rain. The rain is pretty normal oh. for Wales. Um, but the the name Storms are a little unusual. I think it starts about midnight, so that's going to be in well a little under three hours. But inevitably there'll be. You know, it's been raining all evening, so we're building up to it, I think. Oh, I didn't see any bags. I forgot to look. No, it looks like I can only remove you from the BCU. Oh. So you'll have to build something using your power and mass and then put yeah, in the PC but um, I don't think it's going to work because if I want to change something I can't. <coughs> yeah, you can once you put your BCU up. Are you sure? It yeah, because it it's, it's stuff that you've built and put down. <coughs> yeah, but once your BCU is on it with not without my name. Uh, you will have full control over everything, as long as okay. the BCU is there. Move it, bear. Go on. Um, right, I need to fill up on some stuff here. Go on. No. Oh, you stupid bugger. No way. You're playing with the wildlife again. No. Ooh. Yeah, so you've got uh, 500 power and 100. Um, so I could use that if you want. Well, it's still your base. So. Um. I think he moved far enough for me to pick up those crates. Oh, crap. He didn't move at all. I think possibly the best use of it would initially be a refinery. So, total of 12, 10, and 12 of those. Um. So. I just steal all your resources before you destroy the BCU. Um, do you want me to take this BCU down? Uh, 
Um, Once I've done it, because I'll use all the power and mass, but you'll have to come back to put your VCU up. Yeah, uh, but... Um... Well, maybe you should just take take the doors off. I can just leave it open. Just leave the door open. Yeah, sure. Well, I'll tell you what, let's not rush. I'll use the 500-100, and then if it builds up to anything useful, we'll make, like, a generator or something. Well, you can just take it off. No, because then the revenge attack will hit me. Mm, no. <laughs> yeah, not stupid. But it shouldn't because I was the one doing the attack and then all of a sudden I don't have a BCU. <laughs> I'll leave it up for now. If we can build some power and mass up, uh, I'll use it again on something else. I need generators, don't I? I haven't got generators. But once I'm off this PCU, I'll start to get free power and mass in my other one, so... I really need some food. Um, are you still playing with this base down here? What base? No, they long gone. Oh, why did I do that? They're dead. Have you raided the base? No. You don't think they might have some stuff? I only have I only had what half a pickaxe. Make another one. What's wrong with you girl? You come from Cornwall, yeah. I think the, the Cornwall tends to have some really nice weather and some really bad weather because it's quite exposed, isn't it? In Wales, we're not really that exposed. It just rains all the time, you know. So, mm -hmm. like, make sure everybody gets wet. Takes such a long time chopping down the door. Yeah, we used to joke when uh, people come to visit Wales and say, Don't like the weather here, wait five minutes, it'll change. But I, th I think, to be fair, everyone can say that. Don't they? Yeah, they say that in a lot of countries, so. Yesterday you were up to 37 degrees. Wow, that's pretty warm. No. Can you bring me a Molotov or a grenade or something? You back at the base, are you? Yeah. yeah. I can come and give you a hand, but you've got to promise me they won't revenge attack me. Because I'm not ready. Sure you are. No. Why are you doing that? Ooh, thank you. <laughs> Shave. What do you mean I need to shave? How dare you? What's wrong with me? Oh, I, I can't hack and look at the same time. I'm a tough guy. I'm a, I'm a country lad living up in the mountains. anything in the crate? I don't know. It's been a long time since, I, since I've 
chop down the door this early. Early in the game, yeah. I usually wait until they're done building. I think as soon as they put the door on, there is stuff to be had. It's just rubbish stuff. I think the, yeah, the better don't... stuff comes the longer the base has been established. <coughs> So how did you cope with 37 degrees? You just hide indoors all day with the air conditioning on or something. I think I'd have to go and jump in the sea or something just to keep cool. I think we had 30 degrees here in, was it June? We had a sort of a heat wave. Yeah, you got it, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it was around June time. He's yours. <laughs> I'm not shooting him. Uh, what do he we have? Burnt his want. liver. He's burning his liver. Oops. Not near the sea. So it's just indoors, is it? Just. Hide away. Put the air conditioning on. Go for the best. Um, guessing they haven't got a claymore yet, no? No. Should be able to roast potatoes in the fire, shouldn't you? So, what can we do? What can we do? These I've got. These I've got. A place of subsistence. Yeah, I suppose that that's one good thing about it, isn't it? It's like, oh, it's too hot to go out. I'll have to stay indoors. That's, yeah, keep myself busy. Uh, those. Didn't they have any biofuel in the um, thing? Yes. Yep, they did. <laughs> uh. Ten. Ten biofuel. Oh. Didn't they have anything in the crate? Is the crate empty? Is it? No. <laughs> I thought I thought you were gonna yeah just take take everything that's good. No, nothing in the crate. It was empty. Complete waste of time breaking into this place. <laughs> you you want to survive? <laughs> Your gun is going through my chest and out my back. <laughs> oh. Um, right. Didn't I get I a free spin? To... Yes, I did. I need to find some stuff and I'm going to need wood. And you're going to need planks. Because I just used the last planks. You're a game developer. What what games are you developing? You have to have let me have a copy and then we can uh, live stream it. it. Has to be co-op though. Well, no, it doesn't have to be co-op. Better if it is. We're always looking for co-op games. Yeah. But they are quite hard to find unless you want to kill zombies and stupid things like that. Yeah, I'm I'm anti-zombie. Um, yeah. It's why I like subsistence so much okay. because there's enough stuff in in real world stuff, albeit game real world, but you know what I mean. Um, bears and cougars and tigers and all that sort of thing. Uh, to be frightened, I, I don't see the need for zombies. No. Oh, I can't get that because I haven't got one of those. Uh. 
island survival game. Brilliant. Let me at it. <laughs> I think the biggest problem with games in general, and that's not a criticism of developers specifically, but... Oh, there's a fire over there. Have you been killing rogues? No. Oh no, it's another base. Oh. Okay. Oh, where? Over um, over by Autastic in the oh, little valley. Oh, yeah. I see it. Um, what was I saying? I was uh, talking about something. Ooh. Oh, the biggest problem with games is... Uh, Someone's fishing. Of, you enjoy the early game, the, the grind at the beginning of the game, kind of the best part of the game. Mid-game is okay because you're, you know, you've know you so got old. stuff to be getting on with with all the resources <coughs> that you've grinded. But then you get to end game and it's like, well, what do I do now? And um, I think so many games concentrate too hard on the grind, as enjoyable as it is for a lot of people. Um, and you get to the end game and it's like, well, I've got everything now. The, the game progression is to make it easier as you go through the game to get resources. But because it gets easier to get resources, you've got lots of them. So then you don't need them, but it's easier to get them. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a, a bit of a counterproductive way of playing the game, I think. People say it's too difficult, but it's only single player. I think difficulty is a perception. Um, if you look back at Subsistence when it first came out, there were lots of people listing it. Even KJ48 was listing it as the most difficult survival game ever written. And there were other YouTubers that making videos saying how di how difficult a game it was. And I don't know whether it's just because Bouncy and I have maybe put so many hours, you know, thousands of hours into the game, but you'll notice we're kind of running around here with impunity. And it's like, oh, there's a hunter base, yeah, we'll just kill them and then break in, see if we've got any loot, you know, it's... I think the difficulty of a game is the perception of a new player to the game goes, oh, this is really hard. Um, but, you know, once, once you've played the game for a while, you, you start thinking, well, is there any way we can make this more difficult? Perhaps I should start the game in January in a t-shirt, or perhaps I should operate out of the caves, or perhaps I should play with just a bow, you know? So, by definition, that means the game isn't that difficult. We're trying to make it more difficult. Yeah, we are always trying to come up with stuff to make it yeah, more interesting. Put... Yeah, exactly. So you're trying to put some kind of progression in. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I mean, the only other way of doing it is the whole lose everything principle, you know? So, like, when you start out, just take subsistence, for instance. So you start out subsistence, you raid a base, you get shot, you die, you respawn somewhere. That's unfortunate. But then as you go through the game, the penalty for dying gets harder because you get better and therefore should die less. Oh, I wanted that iron... Yeah, so even here, for instance, I mean, how many players have you seen playing subsistence would get killed by that bear? You know, it's just like, uh, just walk him away. Um, being careful, yes, but I'm taken away. There's a pig over there. There's probably a wolf over here somewhere. Walk him away from it, and then I'll lose his tag when I feel he's far enough away, and I'll go back and get the eye out of it. See, there you go. I've lost lost his thing. He's ha um, elastic banding back to where he started, pretty much. So we'll go back and we'll get the iron. No weapons, just a bow and a knife. Okay, I bet that's fun. One of the reasons for the boat only that we're doing uh, was 
to sort of prove that it's possible because like I tried it in single player I don't know if you watched the series I think I've mentioned it but, you know I tried boat only in single player with, with the hunters on normal mode periodic attack mode it was just too difficult um, I could not build up a, enough stock of nails to be able to keep up with the attacks so we thought we'd give it a go in co-op just to see whether it was even possible and I think we kind of proved that it is Sun's going down. Oh, that sounds good. So you've you've done some work on the AI then, um, programming the AI for things like that, yeah. Just for Bouncy's Ben, well, and the others' benefit. Uh, Tylos is telling me that uh, at night, for instance, in his game, wolves will come and circle you, and if you're not near a fire, then you're going to be in trouble. Oh. Well, that sounds more realistic. Yeah. <laughs> Shining wolves eyes staring at you. I'll bet it is, yeah. Eyes in the forest, eh? is teasing me. Aren't they always? Yeah. You it's and your deers. Not actually damaged. But there is a wolf near it. Kind of. Oh, it's a level three. Anyway. I was kind of hoping the wolf might attack it. So if you can kill a deer cheaply, like a level one deer or a level two the rifle or something, um, you do you do get usually cloth off them, certainly fat and meat, so it is kind of worth doing if you can do it, but it's not worth it if it's gonna cost you like three rifle rounds. Hmm? Or your last arrow. Oh, rabbit stopped. Oh, <gasps> we've run out of arrows. What are we going to do? Not that tree. Hi, Warren. Nice of you to join us. Greetings from Arizona. Oh, you're in Arizona, eh? We were talking about the weather over here. We're in for a very wet weekend in Wales. Sorry, I'm reading your chat. I also tried to make it more balanced in what you get from each kill. Yeah, I, that's a difficult one. I fully understand why we don't get like a week's worth of food off one wolf or a bear. Um, because there'd be nothing much to do in the game. But on the other hand, Getting one steak, that does seem a little bit mean, especially if you've like, had to use shotgun shells to get it. One um, pork chop. One pork chop from a pig. And you is, need yeah, two in order to, to make a meal. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just silly. Oh, did I only get one chicken? Yeah, it would be nice to uh, see that bit a little bit more balanced. Yeah, 
night. It is getting dark. It is. And we gotta get back to your place for the revenge attack. Yeah. Well, it's it isn't coming until morning. That's a lot of green bars. What? Why have you deposited three wolves and a bear between me and your base? Are you trying to say something? You don't come any closer. <laughs> in the world chasing me now. Hello. Hello. What you uh, doing put, here? Put the light on, would you? Go to your <laughs> own base. <laughs> well, you need me to do something with this PCU, don't you? Mm -hmm. oh, uh, oh, we've almost got 500-100 again. Get out of the BCU. It's my BCU. Get out! <laughs> Done it so that uh, you get more from each kill, but depending on what it is, the value of the food has a big range, so you have to eat more. Right, got you. <coughs> Are you cooking? Yes. Okay. Supper. Cooking my supper. <coughs> Oh lord, that didn't fill me up at all, did it? Some water. Yeah, one thing I really like in subsistence probably doesn't apply too much in your game. Um, if you shoot an animal uh, with a gun, you don't get anything useful off it. That was a change that was made relatively recently. Um, but I think it should be taken a stage further. So if you shoot them with a pistol, maybe you won't get one piece of meat. If you shoot them with a bow, you maybe get two. Uh, and if you shoot them with a shotgun, you clearly just get a feather. You know, that kind of thing. Um, I think well, a chicken, if you shoot it with a shotgun, you should not get anything at all. Well, I'm pretty sure a feather would blow off. No, a shotgun will spray and destroy the entire thing. Yeah, but you'd get a feather. Yeah, no. you'd, no. you'd, you'd, I'd, I'd, I'd no. think you'd get a What do you think, people? What do you think, chat? Come on, let's have a vote on this. I, <laughs> I, think, it's, I think it's okay <laughs> that it's totally destroyed um, when you shoot it with a gun. It's just a tiny animal. It's, yeah, I think it's okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, definitely. I don't think you should get any usable meat if you use a shotgun. But shooting it with a bow, obviously you just pull the pull the arrow back out of it and you're good to go. So that should be maybe two meats. If you shoot it with a pistol, you could be lucky and manage to save one piece of meat from it, that kind of thing. It should be scaled, definitely. Yeah, 
if you shoot a rabbit with a shotgun, you can still get, you can still eat it. Yeah, I don't. I mean, here where where I live, they actually breed pheasants for shooting. It's it's the, the country sport, and they eat the pheasants that they shoot with a shotgun. Right, you just have to spit out the, the pellet, <laughs> the buckshot. But um, I think, as far as the game is concerned, scaling it in that kind of a way would be perfectly acceptable. Uh, so, what do you have? You made yourself a new BCU. Yeah, I'm just waiting to use the power. Right. So if you take that out when it's done, and then I can destroy the BCU. Yeah. Then. Okay, so just to be on the safe side, I'm going to remove you from the BCU, and then delete it. Okay. There you go. <laughs> can Come you in. can you get out? <laughs> Me? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. So if I put up a BCU. Yeah. Then then I can't. Cool. But I can still access your boxes because. That's the way we set the game up. Yeah. Well, you can have a fishing rod and some lures. You a want fishing rod? Yeah, where, where, because where, where, we have where two. Am, where am I going to use a fishing rod? <laughs> Go down and fish! That's what the hunters do. You might shoot me. I'll just come and use yours. Okay, I'll come and I'll swim up to the side here and I'll reach in and I'll grab it. Well... I might move it. <laughs> Where did we get the sinew from, by the way? Is it log crates? Yeah, I think so. I don't remember. So there was 11 sinew. Um, and you've got... Oh, we've got two rope as well. What was that for? Uh... I can't remember. No. I don't think we made it. Maybe that was going to lock right. Uh-oh. Somebody's fishing. Is that another row? I daren't move because I'm right on the edge of the thing, so he'll probably detect me. He's caught a fish. Yeah. It's a big one as well. Can you can you kill him and get the fish? I can't even see him. He's in the reeds. You kill him. Well, he's already going. Uh, he's a hunter, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're determined, aren't you? I'm glad this is not my base. <laughs> um, right, what, what did you make? I've got a refinery. Yeah, that's what you made for yourself, didn't you? Yes. Did you make anything useful for me, or did you just make something useful for you? I just made something useful. Ooh, what's that? Who's shooting? Not me. Um. What's she shooting at? Can't remember what I've got up there, so I'm just going to take some of everything. 
about those. Got some of that. Um, those. Ooh, they're going mad. Yeah. Are you likely to use nine mil rounds at all? Do you use nine mil? No. No. I'll take those, yeah. I hate that gun. Yeah. Take some of those. Maybe that and those. Take that. I'm in the end. Um. Um. And I've already taken kind of half of the stuff in here. Take some of those because I don't think I've got any of that. <laughs> mm. I'll leave you the rope, but I'll take a bit more sinew. you. Okay. Um, I'll leave you the two planks because I used some of your planks. I'm c crafting some planks right now. Oh right, I've put a couple in there. Uh, right, I'd better run away then. And um, I'll leave you to uh, um, play and accumulate. And you I'll forgot your fishing rod. No, I... I, I have I two. Can't. I know, but I haven't... Well, I have got one space left, but I haven't got enough room for lures or anything. We'll sort that out another time. Um, I'm going to have to probably make a fishing hut. I'm going to be doing that. Yeah, the lighting and the sound in the game is, is pretty good. There, there are a couple of things that I would like to change. Ooh, is that you running out of power? Um, yeah. But, I mean, the lighting is, is phenomenal. Some of the sounds could benefit from improving a little bit, I think. In what game? In subsistence. You think? But, uh, ge generally, he's done, oh. a, oops, he's done a very good job here. Um, right. I'm going to run away, drop this stuff off, loop my way home again. Um, oh, oh, I hope yeah. that's you. <laughs> just jumped off your base and I hear a gun reloading and okay, just jump right into the line of a hunter. Should get one more, but I mean, this and this is should we not tell Bouncy about that bear outside the door? Mm. Make this. No. We can't make this. Uh. Mm. Five. Six. Three. We really got any room to pick things up tonight. Someone's fishing again. Oh, not me. I neglected to steal your fishing rod. Can't see. Oh, it's over there. Oh, <laughs> I suddenly heard the, the sound. This is what I was talking about. The sound as I came over the brow there. I couldn't hear the river. And then suddenly, I hear the river, and it's like... It didn't really fade in, it just appeared. Okay. Uh, why is there a wolf on every crate? I don't know. Are full. Ooh, strawberry. Shut up, wolf. I'm picking vegetables. Um. Uh oh. What? Uh, I have a road camp on the way up to my base. <laughs> 
Uh, cool. Ooh, beehive. Cool. Yes. So I can't come down that way because the road camp, and I'm having problems going up this way because there's a bear in the way, <gasps> and I'm throwing a blueberry down. What do you mean you're throwing a blueberry down? I'm popping. <gasps> no. I'm popping blueberries. Right, up into the cold again. Chat, chat while running uphill is not working. It just gets on my base on already. Dad, nothing left. Maybe some down floating around. Huh? Uh, wrong button. out at some point. So all the crates out in a second. Let me just read this. Uh, so you watch the cave dwellers. Yeah, door. Oh yeah, that door respawned. You've had that as well. Yeah, well, someone said that it might have been um, because we sort of left the area. Yeah, that's what I figured it was because we'd actually gone into the caves, which is like a separate, um, uh, what's the word, like a separate zone, a different loading zone kind of thing. That was my guess, but... So, did you get rid of the robes? No. Was I supposed to? Uh, They've got stuff. Yes. But no. <laughs> yes, but no. So there, there. Just amalgamate all it's of that. There. And then we go there. Take uh, an alert. Hello. Somehow sort this little lot out. That's. Good turn. Convert that. Let's go round to get up there. I think we should go there. <coughs> We're going to need another crate at this rate, aren't I? Those and those and those and that. Go in there, that goes in there, oh my god. Gonna be here forever sorting this lot out. Right. And then we'll have to put ammo in here, I think. Let's go have a look. Just for fun. There we go. That's that's a bit neater and tidier. Uh, right, so I am getting free power mass. My fire has gone out, of course. Yeah, I 
Let's do this. Just for kicks. Yeah, as, uh, zombie games, Tyler's. I decided a long time ago, I um, can't remember which game it was, but I just didn't enjoy it. It wasn't fun for me to play against zombies. Um, so I actually put on my Steam tags uh, to exclude anything with zombies. Um, right, I won't like that just yet, but we are going to have to find some food pretty damn quick. Uh, did we actually ever plant anything? We did. <gasps> that might not be a good idea. Fertilizer, what have we got? Two slots. Five, in case you were wondering, for an empty uh, plant bed, you need 125 ash. Like so. Of course, now I'm going to have to light my fire in order to melt that snow. Mm, Kuka Terry Territory. Yeah, it's extremely know. rude of those rogues to set up camp right next to me, wasn't it? Well, take him out. Uh, I could do. I could actually possibly shoot them and then encourage them up the mountain. Do you think they'd freeze to death if I get them high enough? Mm -hmm. Oh, there she is. Okay. I'm not sure if I can actually hit one from down here. Uh, from I'm sure you can. Oh, I did. Got their attention. Here they come. Come on, come up to me. There we go. Let's line up. Nice orderly fashion. Now you get to test out your defenses. Well, they, they did manage to path up to me. Yeah. Surprisingly. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's giving me arrows. please. You gone? He ran home. He got cold. So I used uh, six rounds of ammo. Oh, gotta put that down there again. And I got one round of ammo back. But he did bring me some sink. And some logs. That was kind of nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, where's your buddy? There's only one left. He's fishing. They need a lot of protein when they get back. Oh. I 
missed that shot and now he's run away and hid. I need stuff. Give me stuff. Never find many crates in this area. He hasn't got anything cooking. Well, has the body returned? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a minute. There's still the one guy left. Yeah, that's why so they're not cooking. He was supposed to get some. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hello bear. Come and come and meet my buddies over this side of the mountain. Rabbit. You did that rabbit. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Where did that other rope go? Wandered off down here, somewhere under this rock. Vanished. Give me that. What time of day is it? Uh, about midday. Uh, I think it's a bit more than that. <coughs> I got a chicken using ground cover to evade attack. Oops. New bear. Um. So I don't know what happened to that. Um. That third rogue. <laughs> can then later the fight. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. They killed my buddies. I'm not stopping around here. Um, as far as I know, they never send two fishermen out. And well, there's <laughs> clearly one. I think the one with the helmet is missing. There's only three attack me. Wandered off, hasn't he? Ooh, look at the bags over there. Well, a uh, day is wasting. I need to get out and do some eating. Uh, okay. Um interesting. What? What? <laughs> there is a uh building up on the top of the cliff up here. Did you, you invite somebody <laughs> else to the base to <laughs> no. the server? No, and I don't remember setting up 
another base on this one because we were still gathering resources, weren't we? Oh, that sounds strange. But it's on top of a cliff, so maybe, maybe we were originally planning on being up there. That's extremely high. I don't know. I don't remember doing that. It obviously hasn't got a BCU or I wouldn't be getting free power mass here. say that all the time. No, I really do. I really, really do. I think I must have set that up, but I really don't remember doing it. There's an eagle's nest directly underneath it. That's interesting. literally just a platform. I think maybe we originally we were planning on building here and uh, changed our mind. Um, but I can't deconstruct it so that means it was you who built it. Well I can remove it when I find it. <laughs> and if it wasn't you, if you can't deconstruct it, somebody's jumped into our game somehow. <laughs> cool! <laughs> uh, okay, what's the quickest and easiest way of getting food? Apart from fishing. I guess. So well, lots and lots mm. of chickens. We're a bit full. Well, I need it. You popping? More. No, not yet. But it was a good thing that I was looking because it won't be long. Before I'm popping. Uh, tasty looking wolf over there. Actually, a couple of tasty looking wolves. The question is, oh. do I want to waste a shotgun shell? somewhere might have <laughs> moved on Not sure I want to get into shooting wolves because it costs a shotgun shell but I can't find any chickens or anything else so I can't really think of anything else to kill unfortunately Hey Selena, welcome to the stream. Ha 
<laughs> no, there is a password on the game. Uh, I don't think it's somebody else. I think when we uh, I put on the last uh, description, I think, of the video, this is the save game that Bouncy and I started. I'm hosting it. Um, oh, well over a year ago. Uh, probably two years ago. So, because for the first stream we weren't sure what, what we were going to do, I just thought, well, hey, come on, let's use this. And uh, we dragged it in without really checking to see what we'd accomplished and what we hadn't done. So I think probably I originally set that um, <coughs> I think it's up there that platform up as a marker just to sort of say this is where we'll build the base. And then subsequently we forgot about it and we've actually built it over there. But um, yeah, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. But if Bouncy originally laid the pieces down she'll be able to remove them. Obviously I can't do that. And um, what have we got? Three livers. Ooh, nice. And a steak. I think that's more than enough. But yeah, I mean, we could definitely do that uh, sometime if you guys are up for it. Um, we could what? set up a, a game and uh, just invite you lot to come and cause mayhem with us. Um, if, uh, if that sounds like something you'd want to try, we can definitely do that. Oh, on a live stream? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can... Um, uh, <laughs> I don't know what what we did, what kind of a game we do. Obviously, it would have to be started from oops, Mr. Rabbit started from scratch uh, because obviously it'd be no good us having a massive great base, inviting you guys to join us, and then it'd be a bit unfair. But... Yeah, you give it a go. Great. Well, we'll, we'll definitely do that. I think. Uh, if we're going to do that, I would probably use a server rather than, um, you know, what we're doing at the moment, which is private game hosting. Yeah. And uh, Bouncy and I do have a server, obviously the one we use for the, um, uh, well, it was originally for the Cave Dwellers series, and now we're using it for the Bouncy's Castle series. So maybe when we finish that series, uh, if, if you're up for it, we'll give it a go. I know, uh, Selena, you've been on our Subsistence Night Central server, haven't you? Uh, some time ago now? So, you know, you know how to find <coughs> this. Sorry. If you're going to die, you should really do it quietly. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, so it was a bit dark and I haven't got a light yet, so I can't really light the area up. Area up. Can't speak words. Area up. Why don't you just build the light? I could, can do now. I didn't have power mass before, did I? Yeah, I've got 500, 100, so I'll find something a bit more useful to do with it. Chicken 
looking for now. Pouring down with rain, in the snow. Do you think I'm ever going to run out of water? fire a bit closer to the stuff that's actually useful, shouldn't I? Come on, Yeah, too, too many people would kind of ruin it, but um, I think as long as we plan it correctly, I mean Subsistence is a great game from the point of view of, uh, it's a very sort of niche, we were talking about this earlier weren't we Bouncy, it's a, the, the genre that Subsistence falls into is quite, quite a small niche, there don't seem to be an enormous number of people that follow it, you can tell by the views on the videos really. Um, the, the kind of server that we generally run would be limited to like 10 people anyway, 20 at the absolute tops. So I think if we, if we could get 10 people on a server together for an evening uh, playing, it would be kind of... Um, it would be mayhem anyway, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you could change that. Well, not Don't necessary. You'd, be there, you'd, be yeah. <laughs> you'd you'd make it mayhem. Well, not. I'm actually quite friendly, except for Mojo. <laughs> I like I like to kill him. Yeah, he's funny to kill. It happens all the time. That was quite funny. It, uh, was it, it was Charlie of one of the bases? One when I <laughs> scrouts down by the door, sort of taking pot shots, and I happened to pop out just as you fired at one of the hunters, and you blew, yeah. blew me off the back of the head. Yeah. That was in the um, uh, the cave thing. Yeah, cave, cave dwellers. Yeah. yeah. So got this. Got this. I need. Well, wow, they still not rebuilt that infrastructure. That's I crazy. Also need this. Two years ago. I suppose that that Ida was such a big storm it wiped out an entire area. I mean, it's not like, oh, the local power station's gone down and it's two years later they still haven't replaced it. You know, it's mm -hmm. there was a lot of in infrastructure went, wasn't there? <coughs> What do we want? We want, we want, we want. Um, right, I think I'm gonna have to move this fire to. Isn't it daylight place. soon? Central, no. <sighs> I'm gonna stick it there. Where's the, where's the edge? I'm just gonna stick it there for now because that's kind of halfway between my BCU and my box of bits. And then the chicken died. Um, so, I haven't got generators, I haven't got a light, it's 250-50 and 250-60, so you could possibly do both of those, and you could also use a workbench, but I need a generator to get a workbench, don't I? So, let's go for that, so 654.
you've got good internet in Thailand. Yeah, I, I'd heard that before actually. Somebody else mentioned that. Um, Bouncy's got a, a good internet um, that we can't have. An, uh, over here, we have what they call asynchronous connections. In the UK, that is, you can't get a synchronous uh, fiber connection here. So I actually opted for the middle one. It's not the fastest I could have got, but for the cost, it was more efficient. So I get about 550 megabits download and around 65 to 70 upload which for me is fantastic and that's that's only this year I've got that um, but Bouncy you get a thousand megabits down or one gigabit down and one gigabit up don't you yeah so that's that's called a synchronous connection um, but so they, they won't give us a, a synchronous connection it doesn't exist in the UK which is really annoying um, Put all this stuff. Oh, I've already got a refinery. Oh well, we've got two now. Uh, really should start looking around before I build things, shouldn't I? No, I just need to do that now. Yeah, we'll just. to get some quick refinery in done, won't we? Assuming I can ever get the power to uh, drive them. Feels like it's still dark. Uh, yeah, it's just a miserable rainy day. Yeah, that's why it feels dark. Yeah. Ooh. tonight. <coughs> Seems Did I, I get wet, I'm going to freeze. Quite good at finding these beehives, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I did wonder if it was the same one as I heard before, because I can't really remember which way I ran. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, right, just quickly make some arrows. Ooh, right, yeah, I have some. And it's not. Are you stuck? So we've just introduced four thousand megabits. What's that? Four. Four gigabits. Oh. Wow. I can't ever imagine needing a full gigabit connection. Yeah, one you put one mega I presume you mean one gigabyte up one gigabit up and down, yeah. Yeah, I actually bought there was a game on Steam yesterday, uh, called Payday Two, which is not the sort of thing a lot of uh, survivalists would normally play, but I like games like that because you just sort of sit back, you can use a controller, you sit back, chill, and just have fun. Um, I don't know if you know Payday 2, it's basically uh, bank robberies and heists and that kind of thing. 
uh, and I bought it because it was on sale at 90% off, which is like really, really cheap. Uh, it cost me 90p, um, uh, or I think it's 89p. It's, I don't know if you know what pence are in this country, but essentially, uh, you could say a pound is roughly equivalent to a euro, so less than one euro. And uh, it was uh, several gigabits. I don't remember the exact size of it. Quite large, about 80 gigabits or uh, gigabytes or something in size. And I put it on to download while I made a phone call. And I wasn't on the phone very long. And when I came back, it was done. And that's fast enough for me. <laughs> I really don't need anything faster than that. Those. Okay. Yeah. Well, four megabits is is uh, really slow. Comparative terms. So, to give you an idea, when I was on a copper wire, normal sort of telephone wire uh, internet, that was uh, five and a half megabits download, half a megabit upload. So, yeah, we, we're talking bits here, not bytes. So, bits are, uh, I think, one sixteenth of a byte. Um, so, you were probably right the first time, I think. Probably four thousand megabits would be four gigabits. So, it is on one thousand megabits. I think you were probably right the first time. Uh, okay, time I actually got on with some stuff. So let me just put that up. Uh, check that in a minute. Um, where are we going to put the light? Uh, Middle of the room, maybe? Ooh, uh, that, that's original. Put it on there. I could put it in the middle there, but I was strong suspicion it's going to poke, poke out the top of the roof. Um, right, let's put that on there. Top that up. Wait for that to recharge, and we'll go and annoy Bouncy. <laughs> You're going to what? Nothing. Didn't say a word. Not a word did I utter. Uh huh. <laughs> um. Wait. I'll go a different way for a change. I haven't been this way. Well, not recently. It's like my rogue friends disappeared in the end. I'd love to know what happened to that rogue, you know. He just sort of seemed to walk away from this campfire, never to be seen again. Did never get a revenge attack. Not yet. I'm not going to get one. You sure? Yeah, that's what I've decided, so. Oh, right. <laughs> Has nothing to do with changing the BCU, no? No. I told him. You better not come visit me. 
Ooh, cotton seed. So you pay 15 GB pounds for one up and one down. Yeah. That's obviously if that's one gigabit up and one gigabit down, that's really cheap. But the UK has, I think, for a long time been way behind a lot of other countries as far as internet is concerned. I was actually shocked when we saw the engineers fitting um, fibre to our road because we'd been told we wouldn't be able to get it. Um, more fruit, fruit and veg. Since he introduced um, things decaying in your inventory, fruit and veg and things, uh, it's become quite difficult to organise keeping your protein, or more correctly, your, your veg up. It's not become impossible to do by any means, but it means in early game, before you get your plant beds and things established, you're forever, every day, you're now trying to find fruit and veg. Well, I think you still find quite a lot, so... Oh yeah, yeah, I'm not saying you don't find it. It's just like yeah. late game when you've got a fridge full of the stuff. You don't think twice about it. You know, oh, I just need some more fruit, go and grab it, and off you go. But, um, yeah, early game. Um, you're usually doing without one or the other, aren't you? Either you're doing without protein or you're doing without fruit. So it is gigabit, yeah, I thought it would be. Just gonna grab some wood, make some planks and things because we need them for building. Finish that one? Yeah. A lot of groups of ants. Usually, you've got an animal here and then an animal over there, and that's about it. But they seem to be running into big groups of them. That's a road camp. Oh, I'm not in the mood for that. Uh, after you coerced me into shooting mine. Well, I, I just, ooh, hello, little well, friend. You coward. Oh, think you just <laughs> caught anything yet? Should we wait until he? No, we should not. No, I don't think so. I think it's just 
they because they wander around sort of in a relatively random fashion. They seem to have a spawn point, um, which is like either their central point or like with deer, they have a point at which they spawn and a point that they walk to or meander to. Um, when they get to that point, whether you've shot them or not, they despawn. But in this case, I think it's just the randomness of their wandering puts them close together occasionally. But yeah, pack animal behavior would be kind of neat. Um, if wolves ganged up on, for instance, deer and mooses and that sort of thing. It's always annoyed me that everything chases the deer, but the moose get a free ride. No, 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 no. Playing with your friends again. Oh, do you mind? We need to freak along. Oh, go on, wolf. Go get him. <laughs> oh, God, that was a headshot. I don't have a helmet, I forgot. Yeah, you don't have a helmet, you don't have a black jacket. You might as well be stood there in your knickers for all the protection you've got. Well, I can do that. <laughs> but I need the inventory space. That build a great. Ooh, oh, chicken. <coughs> yeah, the, the rabbits and chickens. That I think that's a little bit like you wouldn't see a chicken getting away with running to a bear, would you? He wants the game to be realistic, or at least he said no to a number of things that people have suggested because feels that would be realistic. So the ability for rabbits and chickens to run to a wolf for protection when you're trying to shoot them is a, a long um, gripe, a, a long term gripe. But I don't mind it because it makes it easier to find them. Like if wolves were killing all the chickens, you'd find it really hard to find a chicken. But, but I agree, free ride is a bit of a nonsense. I suppose at the end of the day it all just comes down to coding, as Tylos will probably say if you're developing a game. It's it's not that these things are not doable, it's just the amount of work involved in the coding uh, to cover all possibilities. I suppose you have to draw a line somewhere. Oh, what time of day. Oh. Not a lot. Yeah, that's the problem. You need wood, and it 
takes time to chop trees. Yeah. <coughs> I always find that in the videos. I notice you always cut out the chopping when you can. Yeah. For first and last acts. Yes. I'm always in two minds whether to do it. Um, I've asked on videos before now, people have left comments saying, no, we love to watch the grind, we like to see the struggle, you know. Uh, but I put the video together and I look at it in the edit and I think, all I'm doing is chopping trees. Like, for 25 minutes I've chopped trees. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who wants to watch me chop trees for 25 minutes? Even there in a bush. Oh, thank you. trees. Okay. Oh, I have to remember not to go too close to that spot. Oh, that's a crate. I need that. No, there's a wolf. I really want that crate. The problem, I think, with, with um, programming AI is you can never possibly sit there one afternoon in your chair in front of your computer and think of every situation that, that what you're programming for is going to be involved in. So that's kind of why you need beta testers, but or alpha testers. But um, the more complicated <coughs> you make something the more permeabilities there are and therefore the more programming is required. Uh, I know this from experience as a programmer, not a games developer, but um, uh, I used to program in, um, well initially Z80 uh, assembler uh, and latterly in PHP. Um, and the, and, and the rest and of, of us things. have absolutely no clue in what you're talking about. No, it's because you're all ignorant and don't know anything about programming. <laughs> it's because we don't want to. Oh, right. Well, you enjoy the game that involves the animals that have been coded by the programmer, so... Yeah, but that doesn't mean I want to hear about it. <laughs> yeah. You just want to play the game. I do. There you go. There's a lesson for all developers out there. Well, we can't tell you anything about how to make the game or fix a game that's broken or what not but we we can give you advice on things that might need to be changed yeah they'll tell you what you're doing wrong but they don't they don't tell you why yeah because we don't know how it's working we just know when stuff is not working and we can give that advice to say that yeah. it might be better if it did like this or if you could do like that I paid you a fiver to build this rocket to take me to the moon and it won't start have you turned the ignition key? the what? <laughs> Remember to change blinker fluid on your car. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very important. Blinker fluid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You don't have that? No. Oh. Well, I probably do, but that's because of the amount of rain we have in this country. <laughs> it's probably full of water. We need to go this way first. Can I get this way? Excuse me while I slurp some coffee. Oh my god, I thought you were, say, you were going to say excuse me while I sing a song. No. And then I would, would just say... Far worse. Lord help us. Yeah, coffee is actually worse. It's absolutely disgusting Yo. old brown water. Straight the foo foo foul. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Hang on a minute. Is that you building up there? No. That's you building up there, isn't it? I'm not. I'm down in the, the what's it called? Pond. Oh. We got an imposter. What's it called, this pond? I can't remember now. We, we don't have an imposter, so it's got to be you. What are you talking about? <laughs> I know your tricks. You know nothing about me. I could just watch your stream, you do realise that. Oh. Well, you could. <laughs> that might get my ratings up. <laughs> yeah. So, please do. Um, what do I need a workbench? So, we need to get some form of getting mass up. Let's <coughs> get one of those. Ten scrap, seven and eight. Let's <coughs> there. There. Is that eight of those? Let's make that into a seed. Oh, yes. wrong one. Save the cookie meat. Find um. some water. somewhere. Um, what else? That'll do for now. We'll tidy it all up at some point. Um, I'm going to need some windows and figure out what's going on up there. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. It's about to go dark. Which means it's about to get cold. Yeah. 
Yes, yes, I know you're cold. Sit by this fire and stay warm. Look. Oh, it's dark. Yep, dark again. Oh man. <laughs> so, uh, stream, you can see in the bottom right of my screen there, the dead giveaway. What? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Just figured, as you're keeping secrets from me, I would keep secrets from you. Those are pretty close, those fires. It's cold up here in the mountains. That must be a light. Yeah, speaking of lights, hey, we're all posh up here, look. We have lights and everything. Yeah. Um, just not windows. We've got lights, but not windows. If I have got neighbors, and um, right, offload that. What do we have? We don't have much. I think probably we could do with maybe getting on with some of that. Right, Taylor. I am reading your your chat text. Um, for Bouncy's sake, I'm not going to repeat for the other viewers' sake. Um, but yeah, I, I get your point. Yeah, it must be really difficult. What? Well, you didn't want to know. You'll have to read the VOD uh, chat screen after we finish recording. <laughs> <laughs> You're just mean. Yeah. Games developer stuff, you wouldn't be interested. Well, not if it's something like that. Um. Uh, speaking of bread and butter, <laughs> um, I was out at the shops today and I found a jar of red grapefruit marmalade don't know if uh, you use marmalade over there um, I don't know what you'd call it in any other language I know the Americans call jam they call it jelly uh, so oh. Oh, um, shooting. over here we call it jam and oh. marmalade is a bit like a jam it's like fireworks uh, put it on toast but it's normally oh. orange oh do it again um, normally orange marmalade, but this one is a red grapefruit marmalade, which I've never seen before. So. Mm. Um, speaking of bread and butter. <laughs> uh, well, my neighbor's fire will be going out in a minute. Mm. Come on, morning. Come back to me. Got plenty of protein now. I suppose we're doing okay on veg. I find the protein's going to go off before I get to eat it all. So, how can we organise this room a bit better? Dark. Oh. 
Oops, oops. Yeah, lime marmalade. I've had lime marmalade before. That's really nice. Makes a nice change, but again, yeah, grapefruit. Never seen grapefruit marmalade. Um, so I could split this room in half here and put a wall there. That would give us like a sitting room area at the front and allow access for shooty shooty at the back. <laughs> um, <laughs> or I could extend this out another block to make uh, my shooty shooty closer to the shooty <laughs> you. <laughs> you can't call it that. Why? Shooty shooty? What's wrong with shooty shooty? That's something tiny kids say. <laughs> it's true. That's where the shooty shooty happens. <laughs> you call it pew pew. I mean, that's what kids say as well. So. <laughs> I never say pew pew. You said pew pew. I've got it on video. You ran up to my face and you went pew pew. Well, that's just because I couldn't shoot you for real. <laughs> It was itching in me trigger finger. So I had to come up with some sort of release, you know? <laughs> yeah. Marmite. Mm, yeah, I like Marmite. What? They say, they say Marmite, you either love it or you hate it. But I love it. What's that? Marmite. It's um, it's a uh, concentrated beef extract. It's uh, it's quite a strong flavour, but it's really nice. <laughs> um, I don't know how else to describe it. It it is definitely sort of beef concentrate. So how do you use it? Um, you. I think normally you would use it in, like, cooking as a, as a sort of a stock, maybe. But uh, its most popular use over here is to to spread it on toast. Uh. Um, so it's it's it, soft, like like for example, marmalade or gel or something. It's more yeah. It's more like a thick sort of butter. Um. So it's it's spreadable, but very very sticky. So it's, uh, so it's, it's like thick molasses almost, and it's um, uh, cons what's the word? Construction. Consistency. It's more like a th so very thick molasses. Um, let me just put it there. Yeah, I want to sink. I don't think. Not at the moment, anyway. This one down. There. Just for the time being. <coughs> hmm. Oh, I need this one there. I need to repair my bow. Oh, I need a pickaxe. Oh, that is a crate. That's a bear. Oh, I hate walking into the sun. Oh, bear, turn around. Could you turn around the other way? I'll do. Set this. There's another crate there as well. No, oh, there isn't. I think there's a crate here. Or is it there? Everything's right next to the bear.
That rabbit needs to stay very, very still or that bear is going to eat it. Great, that bear is not for moving. vanished. Oh, you didn't see me, wolf. Where's all the loot gone? I'm picking it up. A yeast extract. That's, that's what I was trying. The words I was trying to think of. So Marmite is yeast extract. Yeah, beef is. No better. Um, into its main ingredients: Marmite, uh, glutamic acid-rich yeast extract, salt, vegetable extract, spice extracts, and celery. Oh, I didn't know I had celery in it. Who's oh. chopping wood? Oh, that's a rogue. Hello? No! Don't shoot! Go pick your own wood! Uh. Buggers. Oh, I really wanted that. Do you mind? I'm working in here. Um. You're playing with friends again. No, I'm peacefully in my base. Every single day you insist on bringing some friends home to play. Did not. <laughs> you can't play mm. with your friends all the time. There's work to be done. Go home. I'm not. I'm just chopping wood. <laughs> Did I chop this one? No. Great. 
sound a lot great. Quick uh, su supply person, make me a love pick. I can't. What? Thought you were supposed to be my supplier. I don't have any power. <laughs> Go away! Stupid people. Go away! I'm cooking! You can? Yes, mm -hmm. I'm cooking. Yeah, that's more like it. Loot crates. Did you find some? I did. Found the ones that you failed to get. Darn it. Doing the cougar run home then. And I can wait. Keep this. One medicinal plant. That's pretty rubbish, isn't it? shop there's nothing here usually you come up to this sort of cougar area you get crates spawning along the snow line but not seeing anything no it's not moose season up there. This is a fun place to build a base. In this little cave thing here. Which cave? The uh, one by the cougar spawn. Um, next to Lankin Rock. Mm. The, there are two. Is the, the one I've just shown my viewers, this little uh, rocky bit under here, you can build a, like a circular base around that. And the other one I've done is this one up here, so ne literally next to Lankin Rock, you can build into this um, sort of alcove here. I actually don't think I've ever built yeah. in one of the caves up here. Yeah, I did a single player game where I built my base inside there and I built towered up onto the top of the rock, put all the wind turbines and things on top of the rock. 
That was quite fun because the cougar spawns here. So every morning when you wake up you hear this purring outside the front door. <clears throat> well I did that on the first server we played. You know, you know, I built the base up at the cougar spawn yeah. and I had the elevator and stuff. Yeah, it's quite fun because you can just shoot the cougar from your window and they come and attack your door. As long as yeah. You or the window. As long as you don't mind doing repairs, you can just kill the cougar repeatedly. Yeah. You end up with more sinew than you know what to do with, which is always kind of nice. Yes, it is. Oops. Oh, I'll move this. That's not supposed to be there, neither are these. Or these. Um, right. Well, again, I'm going to be short of veggies. But, we too much protein. Three arrows. Hello. Um, right, I think I'll go back and cook some of this up before we lose it. And drop some of this off and then we maybe get another loop run. Are you trying to shoot me? Uh, what, from my base to your base? No. <laughs> Ooh, I want this great. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I don't to see, do we? I think I do, but I have got one in the crate, but I'm just going to put that back in there for now. And then I maybe get another mm. couple of cottons in there, I think. Haha, <laughs> eagle. Too slow. Yeah, let's get some of this cooking. Whoops.
do with that? We could do with a bit more really, could we? Five more. So that rogue attack oh, nice. motion. Rogue attack, yeah. Yeah, the one you had. They were supposed to attack from the cliff side. What do you mean? Sorry, what wasn't that the idea of the base up there? Oh I see what you mean. Well, not really because I shot them attract them up here, if you know what I mean, so... <coughs> yeah, but uh, just, um, I think you said something about if uh, hunters were retaliating, they yeah. would hopefully go from the cliff side and not be able to shoot anything. Uh, from underneath the cliff, yeah. Yeah. We, we've yet to prove that, but the the rogues were off to one side and I shot them from the edge of the cliff so I oh, knew they would come up the back but okay. it does illustrate yeah, the, the certain path mm. uh, around the edge we don't know, we'll, we'll have to see yeah I mean, anywhere that we we can get to in terms of just running uh, it's going to be prone to attack. I, I don't think there's going to be anywhere on the map that the hunters would not be able to pass to, given that we can pass to it. So, if you were going to try and build somewhere where the hunters could not get, uh, it would have to be somewhere where you cannot get in an ordinary sense. So, maybe somewhere you could land on with a glider, perhaps? Or something like that? Yeah, but then again, still... We have um which game was that? That was um the cave play I think. One of the bases. Um they usually um hit the rock. Mm. I don't remember which one. Mm. Um. The one um, next to uh, the base you have on the server now by the grub tree. To your, uh, what's that? Right side when you f look out your door. On the server at the moment. Yes, where you live there, mm. now, there was a hunter base up um, towards the valley. Right. You mean when I bridged across the arches, or, or across the, the piers, is that...? Well, when... When we, uh... When we usually attack those... People... We were standing on top of a rock... And often they would just run around the rock... Right, yeah... I know it has happened, I can't remember the exact incident, but... Um... Mm. I mean, there are a couple of places where you can build your PCU in such a place as the uh, hunters struggle to hit the BCU. And the cave that I was pointing out by Lion King Rock is one of those places. If you put your BCU right in the back of that cave, mm. uh, they see it as... Uh, it's They can get to it by going around behind your base. So they 
the Molotov and fire at the rock, uh, thinking that that's going to hit the BCU, which of course it can't. Um, but they never, unless you're stood at the window, they never attack the front of the cave uh, base mm. uh, because there's nothing to be gained by doing that because it's further away from the BCU. So there are a few tricks that you can use to do that. Um, but the, yeah, the idea of the original series I did was to try and find a location where the hunters could not find an angle to attack your base. And um, I failed, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> Now that there is a water pump, I'm tempted to build in a cave and pipe the water up. You mean build in... Because there aren't really many caves, I've shown you a pool. And obviously there's Autastic, as it's called. Um, I mean, that would be... There's Something also um, the one over um, near the pond in the southern area. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of the only real cave we have, isn't it? I mean, proper cave. But I'd be interested in any future map expansion to have more varied topography to include caves, you know, that you could you know, walk in and go around a corner kind of caves, you know, more, a more interesting and diverse kind of topography. I think in all the games I've played, I've pretty much built everywhere. I mean, this Arctic Retreat base is the first that I've built up this high, but it's not the first that I've built in the snow, uh, as you know, Maxie. <laughs> so, um, Yeah, we'll we'll have to see how, how it goes with that. Right, I think I have got enough. I've now I've run out of power. I wasn't actually gonna get into building, but I we had so much power I thought I would give it a go to get a workbench. Um what do I need? Sixteen of those. And we're going to have to start slaughtering more wolves, I think. And we put those in there, they can just rot. Don't need all of those. That's going to have to be eaten. And. That's a god again. Oh. I think we can do <coughs> that, we'll top off the power, and then we'll have plenty to work with when we get back. Okay, so, fuel brick. And let's blow the joint. As the sun goes down for the evening. Have you guys actually tried the water pump? Have you, have you tried piping up? I've done it on my base on the server, and it's a little bit finicky, but once you get it set up to work, it works really well. The only problem is you kind of have to, to avoid problems, you kind of have to lay it out from picking up the water to the pump to your plant beds. And if you want to change something, uh, as I did, wanted to add another plant bed kind of in the middle, it can be really tricky to get the, the water to work. No. No, you didn't have any problems with it, but I had enormous problems just trying to... It's It was all piped up and apparently it should work, but it didn't. You know, it, it, it said there was water in the pipe, but there was no water at the connection at the other end. And, uh, I had to fiddle and fiddle and fiddle in order to get it to work. I did in the end, though. Cook 
Quicker. Uh, welcome to any new viewers that have joined the stream, by the way. And it's just gone up a little bit. Uh, thank you for joining. Feel free to jump in on the chat. We're talking about life, the universe, and everything, it appears. <laughs> so, um, yeah, feel free to jump in. Try and answer questions if I can. And if I get off track with my answers at all, Bouncy will tell me off, because she's good like that. Well, I don't know what they're asking. No. Because I can't <laughs> see your chat right now. Exactly. I'm kind of busy. <laughs> and I thought it was men that couldn't multitask. Well, I've got three programs open. I'm running like crazy trying to find loot. Loot, loot, yep. loot. And you're just sitting by your fire. Sitting by my fire, yep. That's what I'm doing. Or at least you're just indoors. Yep. I think. Just sitting there, minding Oop. my own business. Oops. Now, you make me miss my pickup. <laughs> I make you miss your pickup. Yes. You're the only other person in the game, so it's your fault. Let's <laughs> <I> see. <gasps> Whoops. Why are there so many wolves everywhere? Yeah, it's because you keep coming up to my base to annoy me. If you stayed at your own base, there wouldn't be so many wolves. There'd just be rogues. Well, I've got those as well down here as neighbors. They keep chopping my trees. Oh, shut up, wolf. Ooh, co co come down here and shoot, you stupid rogues. Get the <laughs> wolves outside me door. Oh, those rogues are useless. I made a mistake back then. That yeah, was stupid. It's a bit dark. As usual. Too dark. Should I go and knock on my neighbor's door and see if there's anyone in? There? That was you very, there is very stupid. You realise there is a penalty for messing around with an admin, don't you? Well, you're, uh, aware, you're aware of that, right? You're not supposed to use that feature. <laughs> that gi gives you an unfair advantage. Absolutely. Did those rogues move yet? No. Go away. Oh, they did! They uh, listened! Okay, uh, that's that cool. Of fire. Now, where did they go? I think we can possibly switch that off. Oh, this is nice and clear. There. And what do we need? Eight scrap. Just Ooh, I don't get ten planks a week. In no. there. Oh, water. Let's put that on to cook. Need a uh, couple. Oh, look, I got it right. That's amazing. So, how many do I need? Or do I want this one first? Yeah, this one. So I'm not going to mix those those rabbits, uh, even though I could. You know, they would stack. 
Uh, but the timer on these is going to be a lot less than the timer on the one I've just cooked. So I'll keep them separate. I always eat left to right. Just so as you know. Well, I just stack everything and eat it as I go. Just so you know. <laughs> yeah. Another single player challenge. Um, I was struggling to come up with another challenge in, in the challenge series that didn't kind of go on too long. Um, you know, you, there's there's a point where the challenge becomes just playing another game, you know, just a complete challenge. And I I really wanted the challenges to be short, quick, uh, straightforward, and simple, um, such as the the uh, quickest way to get three ropes, for instance. Um, the sweater challenge I came up with was kind of a follow-on from the three ropes thing, so if you'd done the first challenge, you could use the same uh, game in order to... Ooh, that's all on the wonk. Why is that on the wonk? Um, I think it's because I'm on the join between two foundations. Uh, yeah, so the the idea of of the sweater one was just sort of a, like a like a carry on thing, um, and I, I really I did give a lot of thought to what other sort of challenges that we could introduce, um, but there wasn't really mm. anything that wouldn't have just been a follow on from those two. So um, no, is the answer. <laughs> I didn't come up with any more challenges. Uh, that doesn't mean there won't be any, it just means at the moment, with the way the game is, I haven't been able to formulate anything. Ooh, should I check once again? No. All the way over there. Yeah, Selena, we, we kind of agree with you. The, the struggle at the beginning, beginning of a game is, is by far the best part of the game, I, I think. Yes, um, absolutely. Uh, Bouncy's built the ATV, but only because we, we, we had the game running on the server, we were in late game, had everything anyway, and it coincided with the developer doing the update that brought in the ATV. I haven't bothered, I did have a quick go on it, but I haven't bothered building an ATV. Um, I think it's too much grind for too little gain. Um, yeah, too much grind and the repair cost is ridiculous because it breaks with every tiny little bump in the road so that's just yeah annoying i was actually commenting the other day i, I noticed ono coho has brought out another video another episode in his series and i think it was episode number 605 oh god uh, i I'm sorry, Ono, if you watch this, but I don't understand how you would want to continue a series for 605 episodes. Um, you know, credit to you for doing it, but uh, doesn't it just get stale? You know, I mean, what, what more is there to do after the 50th episode? You're just repeating yourself. You know, it's time to start yeah. again. Play the game in a different way. Introduce new rules, you know. Build your base somewhere different. Uh, yeah, I just can't do that. I'm sorry. No. Right, a new day is upon us. I think this is probably going to be our last day uh, tonight. But um, why? I'm, uh, uh, because it's getting late, and uh, days last for 36 minutes, uh, start you, to finish. Well, you and, don't. Uh, you don't get up. Until noon. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes I don't genuinely. Yeah, today well, has been a particularly busy day. Most days you don't. How you do can you know? 
You're going to stay. You told me. <laughs> so, yeah, you've got on me. plenty of time. You've been hacking into my closed yeah. circuit television cameras. <laughs> You got those? Uh, I have. Yeah. Cool. Now I know what I have to spend my free time on. Yep. That's it. I'm gonna have to try and find my CCTV camera feed. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, that's um, Wolfie. Okay, we don't have many shotgun shells. The only thing we've got a lot of is pistol rounds, and that's not going to last long if I start <gasps> using Oh god, them. that scared me. So, I think I do want to get a couple more of those in. What? And now that I have competitive neighbours, I Why suppose I'd better try and make sure that my plants don't get robbed. Do I have to remember there were ropes over there? Somewhere? Well, those, I, think. I don't believe either of us would steal from the other person. <laughs> no. No, just that's uh, not our style. Just this uh, rogue character that's turned up uh, next door to me. Got to be careful. Of. Um, what am I doing? Well, rogues might Got steal from you. Um, rogues might steal from me. Do you yeah. think? Oh, you said rogues. Yeah. Hello, right. chicken. Oh, did you fall? I'm sorry. Oops, missed. Long way to twelve. Do a few of those, I think. Need so more fill that right up. Make the most of the beautiful sunshine. Water. Four arrows, that's not a lot. Annoying that seeds don't stack in a row. We've got five columns and six different types of seeds. It messes with my OCD. <laughs> <laughs> well, once upon a, a time, um, you never wanted the medicinal ones. Um. I wouldn't say I never wanted them. I've always used medicinal ones, but they it gets a bit silly when you've got like 50 medicinal seeds in the the um Yeah, that's because grape. you don't use them. I only use them if I need biofuel or um what's the other thing they use for? Tonic. Um, tonic, yeah, that's the thing. Um and it's not gin and tonic. No. No. Ooh, gin and tonic, hate that. Yeah, that, yeah, that's disgusting. I think I was put off when I was very young. Uh, I have an older sister, and I think uh, I'm not sure it was her or somebody <coughs> else had had gin and tonic anyway, or, or gin uh, in the house. And I tried some, and it just tasted like perfume. You know, it's the kind of thing you'd expect to put around your neck or on your face or something. It, it, no, didn't like it at all, and I think at such an early age that kind of put me off it. Um, well, I think I think your it. wife might be a bit upset if you start using it as aftershave. <laughs> yeah, it'd probably make a good aftershave. Have you been drinking? <laughs> yeah. I saw the copper thing, but right now I'm just looking for crates, 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 crates. Mm. And those little birdies. Yeah, it's 
Look at the little birdies. Yeah. I think I'll leave that one actually because um, protein is full and we've just had one perish and it's early in the day. Ooh! Ah, he would chubbin. Yeah, not me. Oh, damn! I didn't see that one. Oh! Didn't see you either. Don't chase me. Leave me be. Sorry, just catching up on chat. <sighs> yeah, once the game gets all the advanced items, you get bored and restart. Yeah, I think we've tended to do that on the server a lot. Uh, the game that I currently have running on the server is quite an old <laughs> one, and we're, we're pretty advanced yeah. in that. Uh, but it's only because... Uh, well, it really, it was only me and Bouncy playing on it, so we've just kind of left yeah. it running. We can use it to test things out. Um, but yeah, I mean, all my single player games, I tend to try and keep the saves. Uh, I don't know if you're aware that once you get uh, all your five slots of single player full, then you can use the five slots for co op games, just even as the single player game, you can just use those as extra save slots. Uh, but more importantly, once all ten slots get full, then you can just copy your save game folder. Um, just just rename it, uh, you know, these old save games or something, and start all over again, and you're gonna have another ten game saves, and you've still got all the saves there for you know if you want to reinstate them at a later date. So it's kind of good in that way. But uh, I still find it more fun, even though we play. Uh, on our own on the server I still find it more fun um, sharing it with someone yeah no yeah, definitely when there are two of you chopping down a hunter based door uh, yeah you know it, it makes it obviously a significant amount quicker oh. and although you although you need to sh essentially share the loot what we generally agree is whose base attack is it so if bouncy says she wants to attack a base it's like okay yeah. i'll come and help you and then she will get the loot because it's her attack and that's usually the way we do it and of course if it's quicker to get through the door then uh, you can usually go off and do another uh, base attack maybe even the same day yeah and if we do charlie we just take um a box or two each. Yeah, or depending just agree, on you know, yeah. hey, I really need ingots. It's like, okay, yeah. well, you have all the ingots, and I'll have the, I don't know, whatever, you know, sinew or rope or whatever. So, um, yeah, we should usually just divide the loot up, yeah. whatever way best suits us at the time. Oh, we help each other with builds. If you got an idea but can't get it to work or something. Yeah. Sure. The Tylos suggests a good challenge would be uh, live like a rogue for one year. I'm not sure how you would um, uh, consider one year, I suppose, season to season maybe. Um, so you've got to. I mean, got to remember the rogues do have. Uh, gear on them in the winter, so it's yeah. Like that's that's shirtless. going to be hard because you can't get enough cotton to get uh, the kind of gear they have in the winter. 
Yeah. And the other thing with the challenges, um, on Discord, uh, as proof that the challenge had been completed, uh, you would take a screenshot of your inventory with the required goods, be it the sweater or the rope, um, and a screenshot of the uh, save game, um, uh, what's it called, title page. So that would show you like how many days uh, it's taking you to obtain that. Now obviously there are ways of cheating that, but we'd, we'd take everybody at their word, so there was never a question that it had Oops. been cheated. You were well hidden. <clears throat> uh, so it, it would be kind of difficult to prove living a, a year like a rogue. It, you know, yeah, I didn't cheat. The uh, if you're referring to the snowfall challenge, um, I didn't invent that one. That that was all Crimstick's work. Uh, but being the idiot that he is, he did it in hardcore mode. <laughs> um, <coughs> Yeah, I mean, there's no way I was going to do it in hardcore mode, so I just modified the rules a little bit, with his agreement, uh, so that it was possible to do the snowfall challenge in um, normal mode. I don't remember that challenge. Which, uh, you're not? What was that about? Um, I think it was survive... I can't remember the rules now. It was survive for ten days, I think. Um, starting in... Was it December, I think? Um, but, yeah, because you can only select the beginning of December uh, as your starting month in the game, you had to assume that the lakes were frozen. Um, and... The snowfall challenge was developed before it was possible to hack through the ice. Um, so once the lakes are frozen, then that that's it. You can't fish. Um, I just got an achievement, dear hunter. <laughs> uh, so essentially, there's no fishing. Uh, that's that's the crux of it. Uh, but it's it's on my playlist. If you ever want to uh, check it out, I I recorded my I think uh, I'm not sure whether it was a whole ten episodes, but it was certainly ten days uh, to show you how I did it. Um, and I initially I thought it was just going to be really boring, sort of sitting by a fire. But you have to go out and get food. You have to go out and find veg. Um, and this was also before veg decayed, so I'd imagine it's a little bit more tricky now. <laughs> Still no crates spawning, for me at least. Well, maybe it's because I've been looting all night and all day. I think that's what it is, yeah. I think you've stolen them all. So what are you going to do with your new base then? Are you going to live out of it or is that just a summer base? No, I'm going to live there. You're going to live there? Ooh, ooh. Oh. You again, Bear? I thought you didn't want to live in the cold. I don't mind living in the cold, I just didn't want to live together with you. Uh, <laughs> oh great. <laughs> do my feet smell, do they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, that's charming, that is. It is. Well, I was initially never going to live with you because I was just a helper to yeah. get the stuff you wanted, so... Yeah, you were the mule. 
Yeah. Whoops. Get out there and get me 400 wood. <laughs> yeah. What did you... What do you need, Mr. Mozo? I bring? <laughs> yeah. Soda. Bring me soda. Who? Oh. It's going to rain. Give me that. Give me that before that thing moves. Well, I was going to get some wood. Mr. Wolf said no. Oh, oh. oh God. Let me pass. Oh, there's uh, something there as well. Uh. Ah, <laughs> made it through. Any bags? No. Let's go there. Let's do like this. Shit. Uh. Oh, is that Athena Autumn? Yeah, I think I watched that. Um, it wasn't the snowfall challenge that she was doing, though, was it? It was just a winter start, I think, moving the campfire. And Bouncy's done one as well. Uh, yeah. You started in, in winter, didn't you, and uh, did a, uh, basically a full playthrough of it. Well, I got a base up and, and stuff, but you could always... You can always do more. Like Yeah, I, oh. I don't really remember much of the details of it now, but I'm pretty sure it was, uh, it was no BCU, um, I think was one of the rules. Um, no fishing, essentially, however you want to, to interpret that. Uh, originally, it, it was assumed the lake was frozen because <clears throat> you couldn't chop through the ice. And then, uh, obviously, when he introduced the you can now chop through the ice, then it was like, okay, you can't chop through the ice. So, essentially, the rule was no BCU, no fishing. Um, and I think I did it because the first day you kind of get a bit of a grace period. And that enabled me to get enough stuff um, to essentially make a platform and a fire. Um, I can't remember now. Long time ago, but it was a lot of fun. It was a, it was a real challenge, but it was a lot of fun. It's my choice. This. Anything else? And that's it. Those. Don't need this. Can I let it? I got it. Let's go again. Did I lose a carrot then? I think that. Uh, in two carrots and one decay, not sure. You could make one. Or not. Uh, Oops. <coughs> Put for the workbench there. Okay. So we are in fairly good shape. General, we need some more of those. Just do it that way for now. Okay. And then we've kept 18 iron fragments. Just in case. Yeah, we can make one. Just do that. Drink that. Those and fill that up. 
it's, it is still daylight, but it's pouring down with rain, so I kind of thought I might try and get something done here. Hiding by my fire, as Bouncy would say. Yeah, you said you needed loot, so... In this game you always need loot, don't you? I think it's dead now, but... Yeah, they do carry on killing it for quite a while. They do. The rabbit's died, but I think you get more time on it if I leave it. I can't remember. It lives for a certain length of time and then it dies, then I think you get 21 minutes. And then when you skin it, you get 21 minutes on the meat. Or is it 21 minutes overall? I can't remember. Anyhow. Hey, have a lock pick. Yay! Well done! I know, right? Um next on the agenda. Rules and copper. And windows. I really need windows. Yeah. Well, you have to refine some stuff. Yeah. Well, it, I think it only takes... Is it Three for a window? You can sometimes get that in locked crates, can't you? Uh, what? Glass... Sh sh oh, no, glass. the glass thing. Yeah. Uh, glass sheets. Yeah, possibly. Go for a swim, I think. Ooh, I'm cooking. Oh. Cook mm. Alright, so what are we short of? Planks, obviously. Uh, kind of okay on everything else. Hi guys, welcome to the stream. Yeah, Lily G, is it? Hey, no, this is normal mode. Uh, Bouncy and I only ever play in normal mode. With the po possible exception of hardcore. We've done hardcore before. Uh -huh. um, there's uh, stuff on my channel you'll see of us uh, attempting hardcore. Yeah. Um, we did, we managed in the end, didn't we? We kind of got there. Up to, up to getting a bed, because I think once you get a bed in Hardcore, it just kind of becomes much like a normal playthrough, although still harder because the animals grow a bit easier. But uh, So no, we're, we're on normal. We are on revenge only at the moment, just while we get the base sort of set up and somewhat established. Uh, but then we will be switching to normal mode. Uh, so welcome. Um, welcome all the subscri subscribers I can get. And Anna Rogers, hello, welcome again. Thank you for coming to us again this week. Uh, it's going well. Um, I can give you a quick update. Bouncy is not on my VCU. Um, she has decided to do her own uh, investigations into the ability to defeat the hunters. Uh, and as you can see, running down the hill there, she is transiting from her base back down to the starter temporary base. 
So her base is up there, <laughs> as you can see. So initially I just thought it was nosy neighbours. We figured it could possibly be in a stream snipe, uh, except that it's a private game on my computer and it's password protected, so then it had to be bouncy uh, up to her tricks. Because, well, that's what bouncy does. She's good at that. <laughs> yeah. So Makes the game yeah, well, interesting. So welcome everybody. Uh, nice to have you with us. Friday night is going to, as long as we can, as, I mean, real life obviously does sometimes spring wobblers on us, but as long as we reasonably can, Friday night we're going to try and stream something. It might not always be yeah. subsistence. Uh, we might pick a different game occasionally just to break up the monotony. Uh, but if it is subsistence, at least for the time being, we'll be doing this Arctic Retreat uh, playthrough, because why not? Um, we did discuss earlier the possibility that perhaps one night, when, um, well, when it suits, uh, we might open up the server and invite selected subscribers to come and join us and play on a live stream, just for a bit of fun. Um, so if you're interested in that, make sure you keep following and come say hello. And if you're new, uh, please be aware I do have a Discord server that I run. It's very quiet. There are lots of people on it, but nobody uses it. So you are welcome to come and join the Discord. I'll try and remember to put a link to it in the description underneath the live stream VOD. Uh, if I don't, then you can find the link uh, if you go to my playlist selection and look for the server videos. Uh, I think every server video has the Discord link underneath it. So you're welcome to come and join us. I think, Anna, you did come and join us once, but uh, you, then you had problems or something with Discord and didn't, didn't come back. <laughs> but it's not a problem. It's very chill, very relaxed. We game for fun. Uh, so, you know, there's no stress or, uh, or issues other than those that Bouncy causes me. <laughs> uh, so, those, yeah. Those are come fun. <laughs> Just come and hang out with us if you want to. Um, Join in, have fun, and uh, yeah, that's that's what gaming should be about. There's enough stress in real life; we don't need it. Uh, yeah. At home in games. You couldn't find it. Oh, okay. I, hmm, I don't know. And so you definitely showed up uh, on the Discord server. So I think if oh, there's another deer, if you Googled. No, it's level two. Uh, if you Google Discord to get the address, then all you'd need would be to remember what your username and password was, which that might be the issue. But yeah, I think as far as I remember, every video we made about, you know, just server gameplay, shenanigans and that sort of thing, I did put a link underneath the video for the Discord server. Uh, the other thing you could do if you want the link, if you know how to use Discord and that's not a problem for you, you just need the link. If you go in game and do your server browser, uh, you know, search for a server, look for Subsistonite Central. Um, Subsistonite Central is the name of my, my main, you know, always running server. And if you click on it, on the right hand side you'll see you need a password, but there is a description on there that that's the server for Mozo Tice, and there is a link on there for Discord, and in, an invite link that you can use. Oh, there, go away. So that's, uh, that's another way you could do it. You had to get a Discord. You can use Discord just through a browser. You don't have to use the app, uh, the Windows app, that is. Um, it's easier if you use the Windows app, on a PC especially. But if you just wanted to use the browser and then tell your browser to remember your password, you know, login details, is, is another way of doing it. Right, sorry, but I'm going to have to retreat to my base. Um, 
It's gone too dark to loot and it's too cold to hang around. So, back in my base again, I'm afraid. I'm looting. I know you're looting. But, uh, your viewers can't see diddly squat. Hmm. Well, there's not much loot to look at, so... <laughs> oh, oh, I see a bag. Ah, so you lied. There's a bag to look at. Yeah, I found one. Oh, need a bit. Yeah, I would love to um, post a link in the chat for you to make it easier. The problem if I do that, the... the Video on demand recording of the stream keeps the chat, and uh, obviously, if I put it in the chat, it's easily searchable. So, it's better, I think, to put it in the description of a video. So, although that makes people go and look for it, it also reduces the chance of getting idiots and uh, just sort of coming and joining on the server. That's how I got in, and he, yeah, he like does it, idiots, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I just saw a bag pop. Do you have rogues to your left? Uh, rogues to my left? Mm. Yeah, down towards Crinkly Button, something like that. I just saw a bag pop. Uh, oh, there's shooting and there's a green light wandering slowly across towards the shooting, which is rather oh. um, oh. Yeah, another bag just popped. Yes. Um, I don't have a rogue fire, but I would imagine that they are maybe setting up camp there. But if you saw a bag pop and I saw a bag pop, then at least two of them are dead, so... Um, yeah. We might be able to get there in time to get the bags. But I rather suspect they will at least spawn by the time we get there. So, we also have a blue light. Uh, there's blue lights everywhere, isn't there? Um Yeah, so that's a rogue down to the east of your mountain base. There's this green lights there. So that's a rogue fire. Then slightly further to the sort of northeast of you there's a fire with blue lights which must be delta, I think. Oops. So Charlie must be in the game somewhere. Have you come across Charlie anywhere? No. Because we've got Alpha over by the Valley Pond. Bravo is in over by Autastic. At least I assume that's Bravo. Because there's a fire there. Delta is... Uh, where the heck is that? Kind of... Where is that? to the west of Dry Mountain kind of area but there's a fire there as well so that can't be Charlie because Charlie doesn't have a fire oh hang on Got blue lights all the way down oh lord where's that uh Unless that's a fisherman. <coughs> mm. We got blue and green lights everywhere. It's like a veritable Christmas tree. <laughs> and it's all Bouncy's fault. She put a BCU up the mountain. Blame her entirely. Cool! Nothing to do with me putting a BCU down. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> um. 
Right, we are on the three hour point. It's about to be morning. So I'm thinking. Ooh, is that shooting? Not shooting. I'm thinking maybe, as it's morning already, um, we'll have another loot day. We'll maybe go and investigate some of these blue lights and see what bases they are. And, uh, that'll be that. Ooh, fire's nearly out. Let's take that one. We've got one of those, so we need to find a locked crate. God, in the BCU. Mm, not a lot. I can hear the snow. Oh, for freak's sake. So, uh, what are we going to do with the base by the lake? Of the lake, are we going to take the door off or what base loop? down by the lake? The original starter. I don't see any bases. Oh, have you taken it down? Have you? Of course, I have. I thought we might have just used it as like a fishing hut or something. Nope. Ah, uh, so that's where you got all the planks and nails and things to build your second base, is it? Haha, <laughs> I see. It all makes sense now. Uh, uh, no. Because I just took it down this night, so... <laughs> I see. Yeah. That's why you were so determined that I should take a fishing rod. It's less for you to carry to your new base. Yes. <laughs> now I have to recycle it. But if you just said, well, I'm going to take the base down, so you might want to take the stuff you want, then I might have said, oh, that's handy, I'll, I'll take some of the stuff I want. Uh, <laughs> nope. No. Just not that considerate, are you? Nope. I'm not. Um. Right, so where's this? Shooting, I think. Pretty sure that's those rogues that we see. Yeah, those rogues. Ooh! That'll be Delta then. Yeah, good to know. <laughs> Where are you? Um, kind of difficult to describe. As you come up from Stifler Lake, uh, where our starter base was, you've got the first grub tree, haven't you, in the sort of middle of the field. If you carry on up, then you've got another grub tree on the hill. Mm -hmm. And if you carry on over, there's another grub tree. And Delta is almost underneath that grub tree. So, towards us, or...? Yes, yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh, bear. Wasn't looking. Um. So, there's only Charlie we haven't found. Well, it depends on how far the building has gone. Can I see? Yeah, I can still see that. Wow. Yeah, so we're fairly certain this one here is Alpha because that, that appeared very, very early on in the game. So. Mm. Interesting, their steps don't actually reach the ground. Yeah, so that's Alpha, and then Bravo is over here towards Autastic. Really hoping I can find a lock crate while I'm here. Mm. 
seeing one. So that's, I think that's Bravo. It does look quite big, doesn't it? Let's uh, move this bang on a closer look. Ooh, that's annoying. Oh well. We think that's Bravo because of the. Ooh. A bit close. Um, somebody's chopping wood really close to me. It's quite off-putting. <clears throat> oh, wolf, go away! Yeah, it spawned in quite early on uh, after Alpha. So I'm pretty sure that's Bravo there. Lose this wolf. Potassium. Ooh, it's back. Yeah, so I don't know where Charlie is, but I definitely saw blue lights um, way up by the snow line. That's on completely the wrong end of the, the map now. Uh, rabbits, rabbits, rabbits. It's everywhere. the rabbit and lost my arrow. Oops. <coughs> Not quite what I wanted. that rabbit go. <clears throat> so I've got this, 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 this. So we need this. It's vanished. Got no arrows. Oh, 
was careless of you. Early things. Sorry, I have to get the bags. It's the law. You're swimming and you see a bag, you have to go and get it. You. Yeah. Ooh, an apple. See the chicken. Okay. Some of those. We've got the cordage. And I just need to find oh. two scraps somewhere. Oh. Never mind the chicken then. Fishman. Any bags? Uh, the game is trying to tell me something here. Look, like, put the builder crate on the little island in the middle of the lake. With scrap in it. Enough to make my pickaxe. Yay. Are you going to raid a base? No. No. Oh. No, I, I was pearl diving, but I've been collecting ores and my pickaxe is pretty much dead. Why? Well, you were talking about seeing a hunter and getting a piece of scrap for a pickaxe and the game was telling you something. Oh, I see. Yeah, well, maybe that's what it was. But no. Um. I have no clue to, where uh, those bags should be. Want to build my wind turbine? Oh, you're that far ahead. No. <laughs> That's why I'm out trying to find the stuff to build a circuit board. I mean, I'm gonna need some glass as well, aren't I? Well, you are far ahead. Oh, right. there's the fire. And there's two dudes. Um, yes, because I don't even have a workbench. Oh, oh no, okay. The first time you played, 
he swam to that little line. Yeah. I think it's a common mistake when people play this game. It's like, oh no, I'm being chased. I'll jump in the water. And it's like, that's the worst place you can be. <laughs> yeah. Animals are so much better than us in the water that uh, it's a guaranteed death. It's also a common misconception that uh, if you're being chased by a bear and you get on top of a rock, you'll be safe. <laughs> yeah. Bears have the innate ability to climb vertical surfaces. <laughs> well, the, so, uh, the first night you have to um, make do with a single campfire and you try to put it on top of a rock to be safe. Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. though you sit completely still they will aggro no the only way is uh, to build a foundation uh, yeah a, a foundation really as much as you need a campfire the first night and you need to uh, raise it up so a bear can't run on top of it yeah All part of the learning curve. Yeah. problem with sandstone is it's fairly easy to get but it takes ages to refine and you've always got some other use you want to use the refinery for so Ooh, something more important like iron fragments yeah you need a lot of iron Yeah, um, I've not really had too much problem with mooses, uh, even the ones that I've kind of forgotten. It's um, mad moose mm -hmm. season, and I've run into one and it's chased after me. I did get uh, booted up the mm -hmm. bum once as I was running away, um, because they do run very, very... I don't know if they run faster than you, but they, they start quicker than you. So if you start running at the same time as a moose starts running after you, then he's probably going to catch up with you. Um, but if you do the chicken jumps, which give you that extra little bit of speed, you can outrun a moose, and they give up fairly quickly. But yeah, they can certainly climb vertical surfaces too. <laughs> He tested their reaction. <laughs> yeah, Bouncy and I did that. Uh, we we tested the bear's reaction to an axe attack, didn't we? <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, I, I wonder if bears see an axe attack in the same way. Do they aggro on you if you hit them with an axe? Uh, yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, but, didn't, yeah. that didn't go very well. Got to be done for science, though, isn't it, really? Got to yeah. know these things, see? Oh, I left that a bit late, didn't I? Breathe, damn you, breathe! This 
guy. He needs so much air. Can't even stay underwater for five minutes. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> no. <laughs> there again, I don't go cracking oh. oysters open with a pickaxe. So. <clears throat> Ooh, nice. I think if you're careful with moose, you can hear them because they tend to sniff and they're you know, really deep, um, sort of bellowing kind of sniff, uh, especially during moose season. So if you're careful, you you kind of um, say, oh, there's, there's a moose near me. But as we all know in this game, it's very easy to get carried away. You know, head down, you're on, you're in looting mode. Um, running around a rock or over a rock and uh, yeah this happens to all of us food on the way home, I think. Ooh. I think that chicken and that wolf for friends. Because they're inseparable. <laughs> You're an expert in dying. I mean, to be fair, we, we all go through phases of it. Um, if you watched the uh, the Brown's Castle episode, uh, was it episode 12 or 13? Uh, I think it was 13, you died to a cougar. Episode 12, I think I died twice within five minutes of starting the, <laughs> the, the episode. Like, it happens. I think you just have to look at it as, as part of the game. And, you know, if it annoys you, learn from it and try not to make the same mistakes again. My biggest mistake in a gun battle is not paying enough attention to my health. Um, I've watched so many videos where I've ended up dying, it's like, how did that happen? And I watch it back and it's like, one shot takes me down to 30, another shot takes me down to like 4, <laughs> and then I probably bleed out or something, and it's like, oh yeah, I should have been watching my health. Oh, damn. Oops. Oops. The only time I really get annoyed at dying is when I've not paid enough attention, uh, particularly, you know, in a, in a fight like it from your base. 
But the other time that really annoys me is you go out on a day's looting and you have a really good day. You know, it's, it's a fantastic day. There are loot crates everywhere. You've chopped trees. You've maybe done a base raid. Your pockets are stuffed to the gunnels. And then you die on the way home. <laughs> it's just, like, so annoying because you have so much stuff that just gets taken off you. I think that's uh, that, that's the most annoying time to die. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that makes a good screenshot, but actually got like both bases with the mountains behind. But um, it's like, what do you want to build up there for? <laughs> so, all this lovely lush forest down here, could have built a house in. <laughs> what do you want to build up there? You're talking to me? Uh, no, just generally. <laughs> just, oh. just chatting. with the hunters coming at the back, if I just build a little fence out, out here, they might not be able to get round it. And if my base gets attacked, Bouncy will be able to shoot them from her base. Yep. Yeah. You, you can give me overwatch, overwatch protection. This is all my recyclables. Things I don't want. Have you got a lot of them, have you? Well, I've got pickaxes and stuff. Yeah, um. I tend to gather yeah, quite a lot of that kind of thing. <clears throat> what do I need now? Can you build me something? Can I build you something? Yeah. Mrs. Support Worker, uh, what, what, what is it you need? I would like a recycler. No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? They're, 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 they're expensive. They're a thousand power. Have you got no. one? No. No? No. Did you build the fabricator? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, well... Because it's cheaper. I want the recycler. Yeah, it's just that thousand power thing, isn't it? It's quite an achievement to get a thousand power. So for the workbench, I only needed an extra 20 mass. So um, it seemed logical. Cheapest way of doing it. Um, 
Alright, we better make some more fuel bricks, haven't we? Put them on there. Ash is pretty damn convenient, but I don't think we'll need it. Oh, we do. Oh, look, the tomatoes are all grown up, look. I've got grown up tomatoes. Right, I think on that note, I have to wrap the stream up. Uh, Which just base is my that? Water. Which base is what? Uh, there's uh, to the east, northeast. There's a hunter base. East, north, e yeah, that was one I was referring to when we were talking last night. That's kind okay. of west of Dry Mountain, isn't it? Yeah, and then there is one to the north. It's Dry Mountain there. And then there's that's, one that's next to the... First one the was Delta. Hang on. First one was Delta. Uh, Alpha is by the Valley Pond. Bravo is over by Autastic. <coughs> which one? Which other one were you saying about? Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, that's the three of them, but I haven't found Charlie. No. Got a rogue wandering about. I don't know if that's maybe a fisherman returning home. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Charlie doesn't have a fire, so unless no. you see a blue blue light somewhere, it's going to be difficult to find. The only blue light that I can see, uh, if you look to your east, you've got that rogue campfire on the snow. Yes. Oh, it's just gone out. Yeah. yeah it's just gone out now. Yeah. If you look southeast from there, so yeah. So if you if you kind of can you remember where that rogue camp was? It's just gone. Yeah. Uh, in other words, directly south of what we think is Delta. So if you look at Delta and then look directly south from there into the sort of crook, all the way down to the snow line. Well, that's blacked out for me. Oh, right. Well, there's a blue light there that's been there a while. It was there last oh. night, I think. Okay. So I'm thinking that's probably Charlie. But we need to go and, and have a look at it. Yeah. Anyway, um, I need to call it a night there. Thank you very much for joining us, guys. It's um, been really nice chatting to you. I hope we can do this again. Uh, as I say, every Friday night, I'm hoping we will do some kind of a stream. Might yeah. not always be subsistence. Uh, but we, we, hope find to something. we hope to stream hope every to stream. Friday. Yeah. Depending on, you know, if there's real life involvements, we might not be able to, but we will try and give you advance notice if we can. Um, yes. And there are other games out there that we enjoy playing, uh, you know, co-op games and that sort of thing. So we're hoping to be able to keep, make it a regular thing. Uh, but for now, we're going to stick to subsistence and try and get some kind of fun out of uh, Arctic Retreat. Yeah, so thank you very much for joining us. Uh, nice to see you. Nice to chat to you. And we hope to see you on the next one. Yeah, thank um, you, everybody. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you want a link to Discord? Um, yeah, I'll try and put it in the in the uh, isn't VOD. Uh, your Discord. your top video isn't that uh, a link to your s Discord and subsistence server? 
Which video, sorry? You've got a top video. When uh, people look at your page. Oh, on YouTube. No, yes. I, I haven't put a link. I initially, I didn't want to publicize the Discord link too much. Because oh. I didn't want just every man and his dog to join. Okay. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'll put it in the description for the VOD once it gets processed. YouTube has to process the stream uh, when we finish it. So probably if you look so tomorrow night, um, I should have been able to easily get the link in by then. But I'll, I'll try and get it in tonight. But if YouTube then processes the VOD, it might get removed again. That's mm. happened on the first stream I did. But, um, yeah, definitely do that. Anyway, thank you, guys. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you again soon. Right. Yep. Bye bye. Bye.